Today we're going to be talking all about the Open Run Pro headphones. Welcome to the vlog, guys. My name is Ken. Let's dive in. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the vlog. Today we're all about Aftershocks, or today you may have noticed that Aftershocks has rebranded and is now going by the name of Shocks. Now, at the time of this recording, this is actually before the holidays. So if you're watching this, I hope you had a wonderful holiday and happy new year. And with this exciting new name change comes a brand new set of headphones, as well as an upgrade to some of the other models. Now, spoiler alert, this is actually, we're still in December and this won't get released until January 5th, when Aftershocks announces the release of the Open Run Pro headphones. Shock's new slogan is be open to pushing your limits. And I feel like with this new headset, they have certainly pushed limits on what I thought headsets could be. Shocks came out with the new Open Run Pro headphones. The Aeropex model is being renamed the Open Run. Open Move will stay Open Move. The Cross Trainers will become the Open Swim and so on. And this whole line of headphones, uh, you really can't go wrong with whatever you choose, but today, we're gonna focus on the Open Run Pro, which have soon become my favorite model. But I've had a pair of these headphones now for a couple of months, and I gotta tell you, I didn't think they could make these headphones any better, and the Pro Series headphones are amazing, and here's why. Now, I've been wearing these for a couple of months, and you may have seen them in a few of my pictures on Instagram, but I've relatively kept my mouth shut because, well, I'm a good guy like that, and I'm also a brand champion for Shocks and want to be able to use the products and really give them my honest reviews. So let's dive into the unboxing of the Open Run Pro and we'll go through some of the specifications and then we'll give it my review at the very end. So like always, when we dive into this unboxing, the packaging for the Open Run Pro, and I think they do a wonderful job of presenting all of their headphones. So let's dive in. Removing the case, we see that the Shox headphones, I may now, Listen, the rebranding, I have to do a really good job of remembering to say shocks. And so if I slip up now and again, don't get mad at me, but I'm still working on it. So shocks, Open Run Pro headphones. Now, right out of the box, you'll notice that the packaging is a little bit different. And one of the things that I really enjoy is peeling back the plastic on the packaging, open up that box and seeing the headphones like you've never seen them before. Now with the Open Run Pro headphones, they are concealed inside of this little packaging. This hard shell case is, I think, a real step up from the previous softer cases that Shox has offered in the past. What I really like about this hard shell case is I can throw this in my bag. I don't have to worry about my headphones being crushed or, or losing any of the charging cables or anything like that. Hard shell case is definitely the way to go. Once again, the presentation of these headphones is what Shox is known for. And I mean, look at this presentation here. Look at these headphones. They are neatly packed. They have a little convenient area for your charging cable to go. And all around the packaging is a pretty decent pre presentation of the product. With the Pro model, this now has the new turbo pitch technology for enhanced bass. And I can tell you the sound quality, like I said before, I didn't think Shox could do it, but the sound quality of these headphones is miles above the other models. I still do think the Open Run and the Open Move headsets offer superior sound, so you're not really sacrificing by using a lower model. However, with the Open Run Pro, I feel like it really gives you that extra punch. It's something that I didn't think I needed, but thoroughly enjoy. Now, I don't know if you can see it on this design, but the Open Run Pro come with a dual noise canceling microphone which makes for much clearer phone calls. In fact, I've taken a few phone calls on the Open Run and Open Run Pro models, and I can tell you the person on the opposite end has told me that the Open Run Pro model sounds much clearer than the Open Run and Open Move models. Again, just like most of the Aftershocks models, this has the titanium frame, which means it's a super snug fit, and you don't have to worry about it losing its grip over time. Now this is IP55 water resistant, not waterproof, 
but water resistant, which means you can use these on the sweatiest of activities. I've run in the rain in these and I haven't had a single issue since. Now, the big difference with the Pro model is that you get up to 10 hours of music and calling, which is amazing when it comes to battery life. The previous models float around eight hours or so, and I feel like that comes and goes, but with the Pro model, the Open Run Pro, Shox did an awesome job in learning how to get the most out of this battery, and I feel like it's been a true 10 plus hours of battery when I've been using these. Now, I wear these probably 24 seven, and they've become such a part of my wardrobe that when I'm not wearing the Aftershocks, I feel a little weird. So I can tell you from having these on so much, they are one, super comfortable, and two, the battery life is just miles above what it was before. It's truly amazing. The other thing is the Open Run Pro headphones come with a quick charge feature. Now, I don't know the specifics on the quick charge feature, but I can tell you when I put these on the charger, they are charged within 15 to 20 minutes, and I feel like it's a solid charge that lasts for hours. I don't feel like I have these on the charger for very long, nor because of the extended battery life, nor do I feel like I'm charging them all the time. They didn't change much as far as the design, as far as the multi-function button or how they power on or off or anything like that. But if you're new to Aftershocks, let's run through that real quick, just so you're familiar with the operation of the headphones. Now on the underside of the headphones, you'll see a plus and minus button. These are your volume controls. The plus button also acts as the power button. So when you turn on the headphones, you're gonna push that plus sign or power button. And when it turns on, it'll say, welcome to shocks, battery, high, medium, low, and then whether or not it's connected to your device. If this is the first time you're setting up your device, you'll push it on power and it'll say pairing mode. And then you'll need to go into your phone's Bluetooth settings, connect to the Open Run Pro headphones, and you should be good to go from there. On the side of the headphones, on the left-hand side, is the multi-function button. Now, when you're listening to music, one press of the button will pause your music. One button will obviously play it again. Two presses will advance to the next song, and three presses will go back to the previous song. I don't really use the multi-function button to advance or go back in songs, but I do use it to stop and play my music, especially if I'm trying to talk to somebody. The other thing is if you're going to accept a phone call when somebody calls you, one button will answer the call, and then one tap of the button will end the call. Again, the multi-function button is super simple to use, and I feel like with the overall design not changing, it's very intuitive, the operation of the headphones. And after you've been wearing them for a while, it becomes like second nature. So what are my thoughts of the Open Run Pro headphones? Like I said, I didn't think Shox could do any better on the Aeropex or Open Run model. However, the Open Run Pro, that extended battery life has made a world of difference. And I feel like it really takes these headphones to the next level. The other thing is the sound quality. I had said before how with the Open Run headphones, the sound quality was far above the other models. And I still feel like that remains true. However, with the addition of the Open Run Pro model, I feel like the sound quality has advanced higher than what I thought was even possible. So the Open Run have a really great sound quality to them. The Open Run Pro have that added turbo pitch technology, which really enhances the bass of the music. And I really feel like it does a good job of enhancing the audio. Now, with the different buttons, you can adjust the EQ settings, but that's for another video. So the extended battery life, the enhanced audio, the better call settings, all around, I can't recommend these headphones enough. So I will put a link in the description where you can save 15% on your order. And uh, thanks for listening. I'll see you guys on the next one.